Hi, I'm going to show you how to find historical hurricane tracks today. And we're going to be using another one of NOAA's websites. So we're going to go to coast.noaa.gov slash hurricane. So www.coast.noaa.gov slash hurricanes. So this website um, keeps a record of all the previous hurricanes that have made landfall and that haven't made landfall. And we're going to be using that for our project. Okay, let's see. Computer's being a little slow. Okay, it says, let's find a hurricane you're interested in. So um, I'm just going to put Ike. So you can search. It says, search historical hurricanes by location, name, year, or basin. Basin meaning which ocean. Um, we're interested in the Atlantic side because the Pacific side hurricanes don't generally cross over to here. So um, let's say I don't remember what year Ike was. It was 2008, but let's say. Okay, so I'm going to type Ike. These come up. So what happens is they reuse hurricane names. So they'll keep using a hurricane name until it turns into a major storm and then they'll take it off the list. So you see here it says Ike 1981. So apparently there was a hurricane Ike back then. Maybe it didn't make landfall or maybe it was really small and nobody cared. Same with 1984. The one we want is Ike 2008. Notice there aren't any Ikes after 2008 because Ike was pretty bad. Okay, so then it brings me to this. And it's really slow. Eventually, it'll bring us a path. Maybe I have to click on that. They changed the website recently. It's not as user-friendly. Okay, so you see this is our path. And the, the color changes with how strong a storm it is. So um, green, I think, says tropical storm. When I hover over to yellow, should be like a category one. Orange is a category two. Um, this is, it got up to a four. So I guess there's a light orange and a dark orange. So the dark orange would be three. It made landfall as a two, but it was a really, really weird storm because there was a huge, huge storm surge that came along with it. And the winds were pretty high. Like it got up to 125 miles per hour, or this is actually not. So that's even stronger, but that was when it was out over the ocean. But when it made landfall, it was a category two. So, okay, I'm gonna move my little video here. Okay. What we're going to use this website for is we're trying to find the the this this track because you're going to put it on a hurricane tracking chart. So if I go and I click on these things, notice so it has all kind of stuff, but it's not telling me. It's just telling me like wind speed. But if I look down here, like down bottom right, notice these numbers keep changing. Wherever my cursor goes, that's what the coordinate is. So this blue point, and you got to be right over the little point. This blue point, when I hover over that, it says 17.2. That's my north coordinate, and it says negative 35.9. So this means that my first set of coordinates for this would be 17.2 north, 35.9 west. So what I would probably do is I would probably, let's see, I think I can write on this. I would use, like, this point here, and then it kind of goes straight for a little while until about here. So I would use a point in here somewhere. And then it kind of goes down, so I would use a point here, and then maybe here, and then, see that's four, so I'd probably do like this one and the landfall, which is here. So that gives me six points. So what I would do is I would find the coordinates for each of those, and then I can use that to put on a hurricane tracking chart. So this one we said was 17, I guess I can't type on this, okay, 17, oh, that's really ugly, north. 17.2 and then it was like 35.9 I think west 35.9 east then I would go to this one so I would need my little thing to go away because okay uh, I'm not sure oh there we go okay so this one if I hover over this point this seems to be 23.9 north 57.8 west. I'm still looking down at these coordinates right here. So then I would write that down. And then I would go to this point. And this point looks like it's 21.5 north, 75.1 west. And then this point, and this point, and then where it made landfall. 
So that's what you're going to do. You're going to go into coast.noaa.gov slash hurricanes. You're going to enter whatever hurricane that you're interested in tracking. And then you click on that hurricane and it gives you this tracking chart. Now you can zoom in. There are other ways to do this. Like you can get this super detailed report and it tells you all this stuff. Like you can get it to download into like an Excel file, but they have tons and tons of points and we really just want like five or six or seven. We don't, we don't want it. We don't want a lot of them. Okay. Da, da, da. Oh, see, my track went away. But see, from this, if I only knew these points, that still kind of defines its motion, right? It went from here to here to here to here to here and then up. So when I click back on that and it comes up like five minutes later, there we go. See, it really kind of, you don't need all of the points. You just need a few. Okay, so that's how we use coast.noaa.gov. This is a handy site.